Quick question. How good is your memory? Do you remember a couple months ago when we talked about that mother who wanted to uplift her young daughter? And yes, I mean young daughter, seven-year-old, not teenager, not young adult, seven-year-old daughter, and get them instilled in the grind culture and what it means to work hard. And so she decided to bring her daughter to work one day and have her waxing well. You'll be delighted to know that not only is this going towards the grand jury because obviously this woman deserves to face a consequence for having a child doing and participating in something that the child should not be participating in but if you followed along throughout the various updates as this has gone on you'll see a recurring problem in terms of trusting people with random businesses Jasmine Moss had nothing to say to cameras when she was in court earlier this year, but those who helped land her there are saying plenty. It was pretty bold. Um, we were all pretty shocked for the most part. Lisa is a licensed cosmetologist who's been in the field 30 years. She doesn't live in Memphis, but when she saw a post on social media about what was going on here, she was worried. It was because it was pretty graphic. Um, so many of us came, you know, became very concerned about it and started reporting it immediately. The post was by Jasmine Moss, who apparently runs a waxing business out of this South Memphis home. She seemingly bragged about how her young daughter had already waxed some 20 clients. But what really set Lisa and others off is a picture of the little girl near the nude private area of a client, as if she just waxed her. And having this minor child in this capacity, upfront and personal, with intimate areas being exposed, not only was she viewing them, but she was actually touching them. So that extremely concerned me. Lisa alerted law enforcement. Moss was arrested and charged, but her case has constantly been continued. The new date is Wednesday, but Lisa thinks Moss is still running her business. She had started posting through her Facebook again, and groups were making it aware that she was posting and that she was actively booking clients and opening up her books. I was concerned to see that she was posting immediately after that as if nothing had happened. She says as a licensed professional, she's worried about what Moss is bringing to the field. We don't have room in this industry for this type of behavior. Um, and I feel like there should be a no tolerance policy. Lisa says she reached out to the State Board of Licensing to see what could be done. I was shocked to see the response that no action at this time was going to be taken and that the complaint was closed. That was startling to me. She says the State Board sent her this letter saying there was no appeal process and no negotiating. I thought they would have at least made sure that she was no longer operating out of her home in an unlicensed establishment and that, you know, I was hoping at least her license professionally would have been, you know, um, whether it be temporarily, you know, revoked, you know, while this process is going on um, during an investigation. According to the state licensing website, Jasmine Moss is still licensed and her license is good through June 30th, 2025. She may be licensed personally, but this is an unlicensed facility. So therefore the state has no idea that it's taking place until someone steps in, reports it. We went back to the South Memphis home listed as her place of business. Children's toys were in the front yard. When we rang the bell, someone answered from the ring door camera, but told us to get away from the door. Last month, Moss's attorney, Blake Ballin, told WREG. Again, this is one of those strange cases where I don't think the facts are going to be in dispute. The question is, did she violate the law she's been charged with? The law that requires some sort of harm to the child. Usually we talk about physical harm, um, and there's simply no physical harm here to this child. We did reach out to Ballin about whether Moss is still in business. He sent us a text saying, unfortunately, I have no update at this time. More laws and more stringent oversight in these areas actually need to be in play so that situations like this don't happen. Jasmine Moss faced a judge for the first time today. Action News 5's Stephanie Douglas has been following the story. Stephanie, tell us what you've learned about Moss's business license. Joy, well, right now, records show that Jazzy Body LLC is inactive and has been inactive for nearly six months. The state says that that home shop is considered unlicensed. Ms. Rose informed me that Blake Bowen will be your attorney. 30-year-old licensed esthetician Jasmine Moss appeared in court Wednesday after being charged with child neglect for letting her five-year-old daughter wax two dozen clients and then posting pictures online. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. After court attorney Blake Ballin, who's representing Moss, said this is an unusual case, especially the charges Moss is facing. Child abuse and neglect usually require some sort of physical harm, physical injury, and uh, it remains to be seen if, seen if they can prove something like that. Action News 5 went by Glenbrook Street in Westwood, where Jasmine Moss reportedly runs the hair removal business, Jazzy Body LLC, out of a home. One 
a woman closed and locked the door in our face. The Better Business Bureau had no record of the company until a complaint came on February 15th. A woman who claims to be Jasmine's mother said the controversy has sparked stress and threats. People called to him, talking, threatening people. What do you think I'm supposed to be? I'm her mom. The post has sparked so much attention, Memphis police launched a joint investigation with the Department of Children's Services. In a statement, the agency said, quote, we can confirm that an investigation has commenced in this case. Pursuant to state and federal laws, we are unable to provide specifics about cases involving children and families we serve, end quote. Attorney Ballin says the next court hearing, they hope to have something sorted out. Uh, we'll let the judge know if we are able to come up with some kind of resolution or if we need to have a preliminary hearing where the witnesses will have to come testify. I'm sorry, but you have the license, but your business isn't even registered with the legal counsel that would be beneficial for you to have a business in certain areas. You run it out of your home, and more importantly than anything else, you had your child participating in this with their eyes and face and nose and mouth and young teeth right in front of a grown woman's vagina. I'm sorry, there is nothing anybody can say that will inspire me to see the light and say, wow. I understand how hard it is for you because you know those types of people exist and they'll try to sit here and word salad their way around grind culture and how hard it is to start a business and how you want to have generational wealth and yada yada here and yada yada there and it's perfectly fine. All of those things are valid except when you have a child participating in it which would lead to some child labor laws and also having a child exposed to another grown adults body parts that are supposed to be tucked within their underwear you can't word salad your way around that one you can't talk about the hustle and bustle of the black women the most disrespected group in american history without mentioning that one part because i hold the opinion she should probably get that license revoked and have that entire business shut down because it's bullshit how you didn't go through the proper channels to get all of it registered and it's bullshit that you did this shit to your own fucking daughter. So it's within reason to have all of this shut down. Is she going to jail for child neglect? Maybe we will see within time. I believe somebody needs to step in and make sure that that child goes nowhere near another grown adult's private parts because that's a problem. Can we all agree? I'm glad we can all agree. Let me know, are you a struggling parent trying to create generational wealth and will you have your child doing things that a child should not be doing in any capacity because of grind culture and the need to survive and how bad it is out here in the economy? Or are you just going to be a normal parent and not have them do this shit? Subscribe to the channel. I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye.